Hello everyone, welcome back to At Home With Liv. Long time no speak, I know I have not been um, on YouTube in ages, um, but hopefully that's going to change. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things now we have moved in. Today's video is going to be a really, really exciting one. So I am going to be showing you the complete renovation and decoration of Arlo's new nursery. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have already seen um, different bits of his nursery. I posted a few reels and posts and things like that, but I wanted to show you the real deal because on Instagram, it is literally before and after. It makes it look so easy but it was not easy. I wanna show you the whole journey, everything we had to do to get it to where it is now, and hopefully give you some tips and tricks as well if you are looking to redecorate your child's nursery. So let's get straight to it. So first of all, what I did is I borrowed a steamer and I steamed the wallpaper, wallpaper lining off of the walls. So a steamer, basically, if you don't know what it is, you fill it up with water and it produces steam. <laughs> Maybe that's not obvious. I didn't know what it was before either. But yeah, it's my first time using a steamer and basically it just helps sort of um, get the wallpaper off the wall because it can be quite stuck um, and then I use a scraper to peel it off so some of the areas were better than others so the bit that I'm doing now the white bit was a lot a lot easier than the red bit um, but the red lining paper was very difficult to get off so it did I think it took me about probably about a week just to get all of the lining off in some of the areas like this area here there was like a little tool I'm not sure what it's called but it's got little blades on it and it just helps sort of like open the wallpaper lining up as well just to make it easier because in some areas it was very very stuck so if you are planning to sort of get your wallpaper lining off I would recommend a steamer just type it into Google you'll be able to find one or maybe your family members like my family members had one that we could borrow which was awesome Can we turn that by into hello? I know how to love you now. No matter what I do, I can't let go. I don't know how to forget you. So the next thing I had to do was fill in the walls. There were quite a lot of dents and cracks and different bits that would sort of come through if you painted them. So I got some poly filler. So that's what I'm using now and a little tool I can't even remember what this tool's called um, but you basically put the polyfiller in the dents you then just press over them to sort of smooth them over then you leave this polyfiller for about five ten minutes and then you can sand it down and um, it was really easy to do to be honest so I'm just doing that now I'm going across the room I know that this took me about a day to do but obviously if you're in like a new build or um, this bear in mind this building is about building <laughs> this house is about 40 years old so it was gonna have sort of dents that have happened along the way um, but yeah it took me about a day to do all of that in his room I do just want to say as well this is my first time ever using all of these different tools um, I've only ever painted one room before so all of this was new to me it was like learning basically on the job so um, you can do it if you if you've never done it before and you're sort of worried about whether you have the capability to do it or not you will be able to do it it's just sort of learning learning on the job so the next thing I was doing is um, as you can see there's some cracks in the ceiling where it joins onto the wall so I've got some de decorators cork um, which is in this little gun holder and I'm just squirting it along the joint and then I've got some cloth where I'm just patting it down to smooth it out I promised I would wait for you but I'm getting so impatient Tell me that you're ready now This room is big enough for two And I wanna do that something Something that will blow your mind Do you know the things you do to me? Touch me and I'll make you understand yeah. Do you know the things you make me feel? I can show you if you take my hand I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you 
the next thing I'm doing is I'm using some sugar soap. This one is a ready to use spray so you can just spray it on the wall and then I've got a bucket of water just to wipe all of the like sticky residue off ready to paint. So you can see here I'm just spraying it. Um, you can get ones that you can dilute to the sugar soap but this one is like I said the ready to use one. Um, and this the purpose of doing this is just basically to clean and prepare the walls to make them ready to paint. Um, as I said before, this is all new to me. I didn't even know what sugar soap was before this, but yeah, learning on the job. Now we are finally done with the preparation. It was so long, um, but we are now onto the fun part of painting. So just putting on this like fresh white coat really made so much difference. And it just felt like we were actually getting somewhere because I think with the preparation part of it, you just feel like you're, you're doing so much hard work that you can't actually see any difference yet. So yeah, this was so satisfying and it actually felt like we were getting somewhere. Let me take you under where nobody can see I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you Hard it been a summer So put your hands on me Put your hands on me, on me, on me Put your hands on me, on me, on me Put your hands on me weekend when Mikey could help he came over and he helped me pull up the carpet because we we're getting a new carpet so we're just rolling that up now At some point on that same weekend, we took Arlo out to a little local cafe um, restaurant, which was really sweet. I thought I'd just pop this in here um, because I know that my nan watches this. So I wanted to make sure she got her Arlo fix. Um, whenever I don't post Arlo videos, she's like, oh, where was Arlo? Um, so yeah, hi nan. <laughs> So 
back to work in the room I got some frog tape I got my spirit level um, which has like a little bubble where it basically tells you if um, things are straight or not and I also got my measuring tape I marked out roughly where I wanted the um, color block to go because I was going to be color blocking um, green like two thirds of the way up the wall on Arlo's room um, so I'm working out where I want that to go now and then I'm basically putting some frog tape on it and using the spirit level to put on top of the frog tape just to check that the line is straight. I did really struggle with this um, just because I'm really bad at working out like calculations and things like that but it turned out alright in the end. A little tip I would say as well with the frog tape, make sure you press down so it's completely like secured to the wall, there's no gaps because if there are gaps when you're painting, the paint can bleed through so just make sure you press it firmly down before you start painting. So I do have to mention this as an ad because I'm using Lick um, and they have sent me this paint to use in my video. So the shade I've used here is Lick's Green 02. I get asked a lot what colour Arlo's room walls are so there it is. Lick Green 02. Um, I would really recommend it. It's a really nice like in between colour. When I was trying to find a colour before um, in his old nursery, I was struggling to find one that wasn't too dark and wasn't too light. It was like that perfect safari colour and this is definitely that colour. So if you have a safari themed room for your little one and you are looking for a green colour, Green 02 Lick is the one and also their paint is so high quality um i'm using a pad to put this on because i just prefer it especially with darker colors because i can i find that like with rollers it can splash back so i'm using the pad and i'm just doing downward strokes especially where the frog tape is just to make sure um that it's not going to bleed through and a tip when you're doing color blocking is you want to take the frog tape off as soon as possible do not leave it on longer than a few hours i um put a few coats on within the space of like two hours i think i know you're not really meant to do that but um before what's happened when i've done color blocking is i left the frog tape on for too long and it basically peels um like the paint off from the back of um, the frog tape so the white paint will just peel off with it um, and leave lots of different bumps so yeah my biggest tip is don't leave the frog tape on too long look how satisfying this is though i think it was about three coats that it needed um to get like that perfect color but i was really really happy with it a little tip as well when you're using the pad make sure you do clean long strokes down the length of the wall um it just makes it quicker and it looks better as well in the paint pad set we also got a mini pad which was so cute and the purpose of it is to basically like get in the cracks and um, do like the smaller bits so um, I would really recommend getting a pad set if you are looking to colour block as you can see yeah it was just so much easier um, to do it this way I will also say like a way to try and get a smoother, not smoother, like a cleaner cut line down where the skirting board is, is to also use some frog tape there just to make sure that your paint isn't going over to the skirting board. So I would recommend that and I'm just using my little baby pad to do that area. Baby, it's a big dark world. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that. I'll protect you with my lies. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that. Just let me love you. 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 So 
So once I did one wall and waited for it to dry for a bit, um, instead of waiting for the whole room to be done, I wanted to take the frog tape off as soon as possible just to avoid any problems like I had last time. Um, and look how nice and clean the line is. It is so satisfying. Um, and yeah, I didn't really have any problems. I think there was a few little bits to touch up, but yeah, it was good going really. I was really happy with that. And then I'm just gonna finish off the other wall. To see the world again But until then painting I um <laughs> Arlo <laughs> I sugar soaked down the skirting boards and painted them um first of all I put primer on and then I put wood paint so that's an extra bit that I haven't actually filmed but that's what I did before I did the scallops so next I'm waiting for the paint to fully dry I think this was like maybe a week or two weeks after I think I came back to this room and did the scallops um, but I'm using Eliza Doodle Designs scallop stencils which start from five pounds can I add they are so amazing I actually did my scallops in Arlo's old nursery by hand and it was such a long process I think it took me about four hours they were uneven it was literally so difficult um, because I really don't have a steady hand. So these scallop stencils are an absolute lifesaver. It was so quick and easy and so accurate as well and looks amazing. So first of all, obviously um, buy your Eliza Doodle Design scallop stencils and make sure that your base color is fully cured and dried before you start. Um, that is a must. So you can do it two ways. You can either do it without doing the color blocking first um, or you can do it this way, the way that I've done it. So doing the color block and then doing the scallop stencils. Um, so basically what you need to do is make sure your base color is cured, use the measuring tape to work out how far you want your scallops to start up the wall um, and draw a pencil line using a spirit level to make sure it's straight as well. So um, the spirit level will just basically make sure that you're um, not doing it at an angle and that it's fully straight. Um, but because I did color blocking, I can just use the line that I've already made, which isn't 100% straight, but we will roll with it. If you want like a written step-by-step -step guide, I have one over on my Instagram. I will just quickly pop up a picture of the reel that I've made here. Um, and yeah, go check it out if you want to. It's just basically gives you a guide in the description of how to do it. Cause obviously I'm going quite fast over it here on the video. So 
The next thing I would say to do when you are securing the scallops down is make sure again that you're pressing down on the scallop stencil to make sure there's no air bubbles and that it's all firmly on just to avoid any paint linking, linking, leaking through, <laughs> um, which you don't want to happen. Um, so make sure it's all firm and secured. Here's me in action trying to film the reel for Instagram. Go show it some love if you haven't already. So next you want to get your paint. I use Lick Greeno 2 and I just got a paintbrush and basically painted downwards. A tip would be not to overload your brush because you don't want any like leakage to happen through your stencil. So um, yeah. I would also do two coats or three coats, however many you feel is necessary. Straight away, don't wait for it to dry because you need to get that stencil off ASAP. The maximum time you can keep it on for is two hours. Um, so yeah, if you're colour blocking after you use this stencil, then finish the rest of the ball. But obviously I colour blocked first, so I could literally just take it off afterwards. So as you can see, I'm just painting downwards, carrying on to paint all of the stencils. And then I'll be taking it off to reveal the scallops. <music> stencils would have to be the most satisfying thing I've ever done it was just giving such a clean line and it was so much easier I don't know why I didn't use them before when I did the hand free painting scallops so definitely go and check out Eliza Doodle Designs if you are in need of a scallop stencil now for the big reveal of Arlo's nursery So this is Arlo's new jungle safari themed nursery. I'm so pleased with it. I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think below. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also go follow me over on Instagram at home with Liv. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make